Hey guys, it's Nicole. Today we are going to be tackling putting layouts away, or at least that's what I'm going to be doing. Do you have to do that right now? Hello? Hey! Stop. So, I clearly have like a major, major cleaning. I'm not even going to show you the worst part of the room. But before, I feel like before I can mentally kind of tackle this stuff, I have probably, I will measure them, but I'm going to guess at least six inches of layouts that I need to put away. And before I go and bring them downstairs and get set up on the table and all that, I am going to kind of force myself to sit here and go through all the ones that need to have a date. So I've got my hard drive going where I keep all my photos. I've got my date stamps out and just two of the like more commonly used ink pads that I use. Some baby wipes to clean up. And so I'm just going to go through these and see if I can quickly find a date, even if it's just the month and the year, and stamp that on here because that's how I figure out where they need to go in albums. This is a process that I don't like to do because it's so overwhelming. And I start to see how many layouts I have and albums start to get filled up, shelves start to get filled up. Whereas if this just sits on a shelf in my closet, I can shut the door and forget about it. Even though I do like, obviously, you know, being able to pull the album off the shelf and look at it. But this is just something that I tend to avoid. So I'm going to go ahead and deal with it today. And apparently I have to listen to this while I do it. So I'm going to put some music on and start going through my photos and kind of see if I can get through these. And I'm pretty sure I have another stack, but I didn't label them. So I'm going to do these, see if I can find anything else that needs a date, and then kind of take everything downstairs and start getting a game plan for putting them away. So I decided to just kind of do a voiceover for this video just to kind of be able to, I guess, explain a little bit of my process for you guys. And I did speed this stuff up significantly. I basically just kind of pull up my photos on my computer, take a best guess at what year or month it could possibly be. And if I can't do it that way, I tend to use Facebook as kind of like an online photo gallery as well, so I can go through my own profile and filter it down to like a year and a month and kind of scroll through there to figure out, um, you know, where the photos were from. And then if there is something that maybe involves a different family member, then I will just kind of shoot off a quick text message. And I had to do that for a couple of them that had my niece and nephew just because they're like, I know how old they are, but I don't remember, you know, what year was their sixth birthday or whatever, because they're not my kids. So I don't retain their date of births in my brain like their own mom does. And I sent a message to like my mother-in-law asking her if she knew, you know, if the, which year this, this Christmas layout was from, I was pretty sure I knew which one it was, but I couldn't find anything to verify it. And I have even known to go off of like my own personal hairstyle will sometimes help me be able to figure out what year it's from. So yeah, I just kind of did as many as I could that were in that stack. And then there was another stack in my closet, which I kind of figured out why that one had been sitting there for so long. And a couple of those layouts got taken out and kind of put back into the closet just because, I mean, a week later, I don't remember what the deal was, but I think it was basically I was going to need more time than this research to look it up. And I think it's because a lot of the photos are on my laptop. So it was just kind of like, I didn't want to bounce between two computers, different hard drives, that kind of thing. I have been slowly, when I have the time and the mental capacity to deal with it, I have been slowly kind of getting everything onto one very large external hard drive. 
so that when I need to look through photos and stuff, I'm only going to one place instead of four at the moment. So, but again, that's one of those things where it's such a giant elephant that it's very overwhelming to someone like me. So I kind of just wait until I'm in the mood to kind of sit there and deal with it. Otherwise it quickly becomes overwhelming, which is basically putting layouts away becomes like that as well. But it didn't really take me that long. Like I said, I had turned on some music and just kind of tried to focus and get it done. And I did this on one day and then the next clip you guys will see. I brought everything downstairs, sorted it by year, just got post-it notes up here. You can see I wrote the year, kind of put them in order going from oldest to most recent. And this is just how it works for me. I keep my layouts organized chronologically in albums. Right now, I would say even the fullest albums are still at two albums per year. But ultimately, let's say I have finished a year, it would probably be three albums. So I went through, counted everything up as far as how many doubles and how many singles were in each year. And that was mostly just for me to kind of be able to tell you guys in this video sort of how many I had. And I'm also going to post this on a like putting layouts away challenge that my friend runs. Um, usually she'll just ask you to post like a picture of your stack before and after or how many you put away, like that kind of a thing. I was kind of curious, just the statistic nerd in me was kind of curious, you know, how bad had I let it get? And I think I ended up with 70 double page layouts and 15 single page layouts. So basically 155 12 by 12 sheets. I noticed that I wasn't getting sort of overwhelmed by how much there was and how many albums and stuff like that because I kept myself distracted. So here you can see I had eight inches of layouts to put away. And a lot of them were pretty flat, so like I said, it's 155 bases, basically. But I ended up just going and getting my headphones and catching up on a lot of, like, scrappy YouTube. And I kind of picked people that I knew I wasn't going to miss out on anything if I wasn't looking at their video because they either talk the way, their way through their process or they're not necessarily making a layout. Maybe they're talking about a, a larger project or something like that. So that was definitely a good kind of distraction. So basically I would just go over to my shelves, which are in one of the family rooms. I would pull out the year and basically I just kind of break them from January to like June and July to December. And as you can see in the background, this was kind of why I chose to not include any audio in this. When I had come down that Saturday, I was going to kind of explain to you guys in real time how I had divided up my layouts and what my plan of attack was going to be. But I had my husband in one room playing a video game. My son is behind me playing a video game in this room. My daughter was downstairs, you know, playing with toys and stuff. So it was just very loud, chaotic, and I didn't want to, I didn't want everybody to stop and be like, what are you doing? So I figured, you know what, I'll just get it done and I can kind of do a voiceover and explain to you guys my plan of attack. So yeah, I will basically just take my stack that goes for a year and I'll just kind of break them down by months and, you know, just put January towards the left, December towards the right, kind of get everything going and figure out, you know, what needs to go where. Um, I couple of the albums, I wasn't like super anal about where the dates and stuff need to be. Mostly because I've got some plans next year of just kind of taking an album and basically figuring out what's missing from it and kind of forcing myself to focus on those events and get them done instead of kind of cherry picking what I'm in the mood to work on. But we'll see because my list of things like this is the time of year where I come up with like all these all these amazing things that I want to do and then <laughs> reality and like I have no time kind of kicks in or I have no motivation or 
whatever happens. Either way, I have like a list of things that I either want to challenge myself to do or I want to kind of force myself to finish or work through that kind of thing. So I'm definitely glad that I took the time to get this done. Before the end of the year, I'm kind of starting with a clean slate as far as my, you know, my shelves of finished layouts and stuff like that. I have like one shelf left where a couple layouts needed journaling or I had no idea on the date. Some of them I needed to go back and reprint a photo. Some that just kind of needed a little bit more, more to finish them up. So that's probably just going to kind of get lumped into some UFO projects. And that's another thing that I kind of want to focus on next year is finish some things that I had started and never gone back to. So yeah, I really hope that this video doesn't like give you hoarder vibes or anything. I'm hoping that you just find a little bit of motivation of, you know, even if you only have one or two layouts to put away, to just put them away so that you can enjoy them and not let them get stacked up like me. I'll catch you guys later.